We continue to follow breaking news from the Virginia Beach oceanfront tonight. A massive fire broke out earlier this afternoon and crews are having a hard time with it. It started at the T-shirt factory on 26 and Atlantic just before 6 o'clock this evening. You can see this thick smoke from the view of Chopper 10. Yeah, this has been a nonstop battle since that first call came in. Tonight, Pacific and Atlantic avenues from 25th to 28th streets remain closed. Three businesses sustain major damage and hotels in the area have been evacuated. On top of that, thick, acrid smoke is compromising air quality. And now, 10 on your side's Michelle Wolf begins our team coverage tonight. She's been on the scene for the last five hours. So, Michelle, what are you seeing right now, and what have you learned? Yeah, Tom and Lena, so the fire is under control, but nowhere near out. Crews have been battling flames since 530 this evening. We're going on six hours now. They just brought in a second excavator to try and squash some of those flames. Those three businesses completely unrecognizable. The heat today, the fire chief tells me, made the effort especially difficult. A blanket of smoke covered the beach as crews spent hours fighting the flames at the oceanfront. The fire started at the T-shirt factory at 26th and Atlantic and made its way through King of the Sea Seafood and Maple Tree Pancake House, deeming all three businesses a total loss. First responders blocked off five blocks, keeping spectators at a distance. Donna Morales was staying directly behind the blaze at Costa Azul Suites. Her hotel quickly evacuated. As we were going down the steps, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker. Morales tells us she ate at the pancake house hours earlier. I'm just hoping that they can get it under control. Reno Lindrus and his wife have owned the breakfast shop for 42 years. They were working on employee payroll at home when they got the call that they needed to head back to the restaurant. When we got the telephone call that the building was on fire, it was shocked to us. We saw the smoke from Laskin Road, so we knew that it was bad. The couple is heartbroken. Complete. Done. Lost. Complete, Complete lost. lost. Obviously, the heat was a factor for us. Our firefighters were getting exhausted. The, when we started, the sun was right down on everybody. So between the heat, the fire, and the heat uh, out of the outside temperature, we knew we needed some extra crews. So we've been fighting the, this fire ever since. Fire Chief Kenneth Pravitz tells us crews will work into the morning. There's lots of hot spots and void spaces that we just can't reach, and the, um, the structure, the roof line has collapsed, so it's created a lot of spots where there's fire hidden underneath. So we're bringing in some heavy equipment to try and help dig that out so we can get uh, all the fire out. And you can see that heavy equipment working behind me right now. We're told that one firefighter was taken to the hospital with a burn injury. He's expected to be OK. The cause of the fire is under investigation. I'm going to toss it over to my colleague Lauren Moss. Lauren, some of the hotels nearby have been evacuated because of the smoke. Well, yeah, Michelle, it was because heavy smoke was coming from the T-shirt factory, but that wasn't the only location having smoke in the area. These nearby hotels had to evacuate guests, including right at the Casa Azul Suites. Now, look at these images sent by one of their hotel guests. You can see a black flame followed by what looks like a fireball. This bird's eye view shows what looks like some kind of mechanical unit collapse into the flames. One guest I spoke to says they traveled three hours to visit the beach. When the fire started, they were soaking up the sun on the sand. The family saw the smoke and at one point went back to Casa Azul. That's when they realized everyone was evacuated. Now they have no clue where they're going next. I, at this point, I'm not quite sure. We did uh, rent a hotel, this hotel actually, Costa Azul with um, Hotels.com. So I'm really just waiting to see exactly what the next process is. They did cancel our hotel for this night. What does your room look like? Um, right now it's pretty foggy. It's a little foggy. It is. It, it does stink. Our clothes didn't catch it hard enough, but it, it's it's there. Yeah, it's all in the. It's pretty foggy in the. Um, how do you call it? In the hallways. Yeah, and firefighters have kind of stopped working behind me. They're going up on the ladder here and there. But like she said, the smoke is just taking over the streets of the ocean front. You can feel it in the air. And we saw some people come out with wet towels and putting it over their face just to escape some of that smoke smell. Now I'm going to send it back to Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson in the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center. Jeff, some of this may linger. What should people do to keep themselves safe if they're trying to come to the beach tomorrow? Uh, I would stay far away from that area tomorrow 
tomorrow just to increase your uh, increase the quality of air that you breathe in near the area. There's not much wind right now, so it's a good thing and a bad thing. So near the spot where the fire happened, the air quality is poor, but just outside of it, if you go uh, even south of 22nd Street to the 1st Street area and then eventually into Sandbridge or you're staying into the north end, you're going to have fine air quality. There's enough air swirling around at the ocean front that I've seen some from individual personal weather stations that indicates that the air is mixing. Now where we have our closest weather station is at Oceana, not reporting any wind there. The wind is very light and calm. The closest air quality sensor we have to the ocean front is this one here, which is reporting moderate air quality. So you can see it's just a local effect. Here's a look at that location once again. So I would say a couple of blocks away from this is where that smoke could be into tonight as firefighters continue to battle and eventually put out that fire. The air quality should improve greatly into tomorrow. But keep in mind, we don't know exactly what's burning, so you don't want to be breathing in that smoke. It's not like someone burning a campfire. It's burning buildings, plastics, things like that. So you don't want to breathe in that toxic smoke.